I'm Darius Kashayar. I'm an attorney here in San Diego. I've been practicing for about 19 years now. My law firm, Kashayar Law Group, uh, we specialize in civil litigation. My name is Oliver Shami. I'm an attorney. Uh, I've been practicing law now for well over 30 years. Mr. Brownlee and his wife were walking home from having dinner in Pacific Beach. And as he's walking home, the sidewalks are not all you know, straight. Um, and there was a dangerous condition part of the sidewalk where he tripped and fell, ended up shattering his arm, which he had to have surgery for, and cracked his head, which he ended up having a TBI. It was a complex case uh, from a liability standpoint, from a legal standpoint, from a causation standpoint, and from a damages standpoint. So we, we really had uh, a lot of challenges to overcome. In a sense, we were fighting a two-front war. We were fighting with the Homeowners Council and we were fighting with the City's Council. The City did not take responsibility for any of the work. Even though they knew about this specific dangerous area for almost 10 years before my client had felt fallen on this area. They were going on the fact that he had a few beers and he was a .08 while he was walking. Then they went to say that the part of the sidewalk that he claimed he fell on was not the exact location and they were trying to say he had fell on a different location. The initial case strategy changed considerably, especially once we realized that the city had made a fatal mistake by not designating the right experts to create any type of liability on the homeowner from a legal standpoint. We used DK Global in order to establish visually what our client went through physically. What the, the visual is depicting there is the cutaway of the brain sloshing to the end of the skull, hitting the end of the skull right about where the, the injury is taking place on the forehead, and then rebounding to the exact opposite side of the skull. DK Global put the video together with regards to how the brain moved once it hit the concrete. The visual effects of how the fall happened and especially with a brain injury case where it's not something you can see and touch, it's inside. I thought it was very powerful for the jury. I believe the most they ever offered on this case was $100,000. Ultimately, a jury verdict came for a little over $4.5 million. And then after that, we filed motion for uh, costs and fees. So I believe the final judgment was roughly around $4.8 million. Working with DK Global was very seamless. I believe that one of the biggest effects psychologically to using these earlier on in a case is showing to the defense that you're prepared. Using the demonstrative, using all the technology, it's necessary. When you take a case to trial and you want to get the full value for your client, you do have to spend the time and the money to make sure you get the quality work because the jury ultimately will reward you for it.